On Mackinac Island, there is a picturesque town that transports you to a simpler time and place, a place that feels like it comes right off the pages of a storybook. The majority of the island is designated as a state park and offers many opportunities to take in the natural beauty of the land. As you're coming into Mackinac Island, you'll see the beautiful village below, you'll see the harbor, uh, but know that 80% of this island is protected and it's here for the public to come and enjoy. Highway M185 is the only U.S. state highway where motor vehicles are prohibited. Residents and visitors get around the island by bike, on foot, or in a horse-drawn carriage. Taking the bike ride around Mack Island and M185 is one of the must-dos once you come here. Uh, there is just something to be said about just kind of leaving your, your your worries behind a little bit as you get on your bike and just and just cruise that eight miles around Mack Island. Um, the views are, are second to none and it, it really shifts as you go around. So as you're, you're going around the east side, you see Arch Rock, um, which is a beautiful natural formation up there. And you, as you keep riding around, um, it kind of shifts and all of a sudden you, you kind of go around the western edge, you hit Point Off Pins, and then the Mackinac Bridge unfolds before you and you're kind of back in civilization a little bit um, and you just kind of get this this different sense of wonder as you go around and then you kind of come back into town and you're, you're back in the thick of um, just kind of the, the, the busyness and the visitors and um, you know families buying fudge and having ice cream and just kind of taking back to this, this idyllic resort town um, in northern Michigan. High up on the hill sits Mackinac Fort, filled with traditions and history that date back to the 1700s. Uh, this was an active military installation from 1780 until about 1895. 20 years of that were as a national park from 1875 to 1895. The uh, United States military was running both an active military installation and a national park and they didn't want to be doing either of those things in this very remote place in the world here. Uh, so they abandoned the fort but they transferred the national park lands over to the state of Michigan and Mackinac Island State Park was formed in 1895. You know, taking that, that bike ride around and then coming up to Fort Mackinac and Fort Holmes and these different state park areas, you kind of get this sense of the history, of the beauty, of the wonder, and what makes this place so special.